Shadow Warrior 2013 short video game review. You are Lo Wang out to acquire a powerful sword, the Nobutsura Kage, for your master Zilla during a demonic invasion from the Shadow Realm. And you are running around with mostly your swords. You get other you, you get guns as well, but most of us prefer just running around with the sword, cutting off individual limbs of enemies. And once you've played this for about ten minutes, it's not gonna change hugely. Like you'll get other you'll get abilities and weapons that you didn't in those ten minutes, but it's it's a fairly shallow shooter, but it's also really fun. This took me twelve and a half hours to complete, and I was never really bored. The there's not a lot of plot, but there is a lot of backstory, and you get it gradually in these big excuse me exposition dumps, and basically you know what has happened almost immediately. But as you get more and more of these exposition dumps you get more of a sense of who the people involved in what happened who they are why they did what they did and yeah and i was genuinely interested although as others have noted it does get a little too self-indulgent by the end the the visuals are one of the real selling points here the the graphics vary but can be excellent and there's some really beautiful sites in this. The enemy design is especially visually set apart because a lot of the enemies do just run up to you and attack you with melee. Which, you know, that makes sense for a game where you're using swords, but it does end up with, you know, there, there are other ones. Some of them fly and shoot fire at you. Some of them, you know, there's one that has a shield that you have to you know, run around to his sides. You can't attack him from the front. You know, one that raises the dead and can make a shield out of some of them. So, you know, it's not all the same, but they're especially, they look different, although they they do tend to all be humanoid. And the game actually uses color. You know, a lot of these dark and kind of, you know, yeah, it's, it's a game where demons are invading Earth, you know, so you expect it to be really dark and the, you know, the designs are dark, but they're also not, they're not afraid to be, you know, to, to have some more color, like flames are this strong, like yellow or orange, and then there are enemies that have this kind of glowy green, you know, you see in the Shadow Realm, there's this, you know, which you, I'm not going to give away when or how you see it, but, you know, there's this glowy, you know, again, kind of orange, glowy and flowing lava and just, yeah, it's, it's not a game that's mired down in dark and gray all the time. You get to play around with a number of magical abilities, although they do tend to boil down to what makes, you know, kind of fighting, fighting with melee, what works well for that. You know, this, this kind of, you can, you can suspend a few of them in the air, you can do this shockwave, you can send out a short arc of energy that can cut through several of them. There's a really powerful stab. There's a defensive maneuver, you know, various. And the guns are pretty good. It just a lot of us don't tend to end up using them because you can cut off individual limbs with the sword. But, you know, there's... You can dual-wield SMGs. There's a flamethrower that throws firebombs. You can throw sticky bombs with a crossbow that you can then detonate when you want it to. The rocket launcher allows you to manually guide with a laser indicator, laser pointer, basically, where you want the rocket to fly. And yeah, the 
the levels are reasonably varied and yeah I didn't really find the game to particularly lose my interest and it does actually end it has a proper conclusion to the plot such as it is and you know closure to the the backstory once by the end you will understand everything that has happened it does do a couple of things that really set up for a sequel and as you go through the game you start to realize oh this is just for the sequel but and and i do wish that that wasn't here just to be set up for the sequel but at the end of the day the actual plot is resolved I've reviewed other parts of this franchise, the links are in the description box. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box.